Hey everyone, I'm Razor. And I'm Sam. And we're the co-directors of a film called The 365, an 80s supernatural thriller about a demonic entity known as The 365, loose on the streets of a city uh, called Stonedale, a city overrun and controlled by street gangs. The most powerful gang is run by a man called Gabriel Bradshaw, a crime lord considered to be the king of the streets, and the most notorious and influential figure in the city, and the prime target for The 365 to bring justice back to Stonedale. Yeah, the project is quite similar in imagery to the classic Warriors movie from 1979 where all the individual gangs have their own unique kind of style of clothing. But I think what makes this project stand apart from any other is the contrasting style of camera work. The story features several flashbacks to the 1980s and to shoot those scenes we're going to use an old 2004 model Sony Handycam to create a sort of a post high def visual, dark and gritty images synonymous with the classic 80s movie and for the scenes set in current times we're going to go full HD to create a nice blend of styles. From the limited footage we currently have available we've been able to put together a little teaser trailer. Take a look. As of 2017 there are an estimated 3,000 urban legends in the world that we know about and at least one that we don't. See that penthouse up there? Used to belong to a guy called Gabriel Bradshaw, big time gangster, used to run this whole city. So one day, he took the life of a holy man, and that's when he started to see things. Well, he was convinced he was being stalked by something, some, some avenging spirit. No one knows who it was, what it was, or where it came from. All they know is this, exactly one year after the murder, Gabriel was missing, gone. No body was recovered, no historical records, nothing. It's like he'd never existed. We've been developing this project since 2015, finalising the script, assembling the actors, checking out filming locations and trying to raise some social media awareness. So when we launched the Kickstarter campaign, we already have a solid fan following behind us. Yeah, I think the, one of the main appeals of this movie is the references to the urban legend folklore. In the sense that instead of relying on existing urban legends, we created an all new one with the backstory of the 365 demon and gave it a little extra twist that it's not a well-known legend. In fact, the only people who know about it are those that have seen the 365 and in person and have survived to tell the tale. And as the story goes, there's only ever been one man that did. Also, in the tradition of the 80s movie, we created the same kind of big and over-colourful flamboyant characters, almost bordering on cliché stereotypes with their over-the-top performances. It's just something you don't see in modern cinema. If you look back at now at some of the classic 80s movie characters like Ivan Drago, Mr. Miyagi, Tony Montana, there's this kind of mesmerising quality to them. They're weird and eccentric, but in a good way that makes you want to keep watching. How many of those characters have you actually heard of? One? <laughs> yeah, see there's a significant generational gap here. I think we put it to good use. I mean, he's, I'm an 80s guy, he's Generation Z. Together we put both of those time periods together to create a blend of the old and the new. So Something for everyone. I agree. Okay, now let's meet some of the cast. Hi, I'm Tom. I play two characters in this film, the titular 365 and a young gang member called Donnie Jones, who's a member of a group called the 51K. Um, basically bottom of the barrel, there's nobody lower than them. Um, they try and do everything they can to survive each day. They're not bad kids, they're more, I guess, confused. Um, I think it's a really good evolution for the character of Donnie to go from, I mean, being literally the bottom of the bottom to being the most feared character in the entire film. But that said, I don't think that the 365 is uh, what you would call an evil character. He's more neutral, more in between. Um, and the fact that it 
looks at what somebody has done in the past and whether they have any redeeming qualities before it judges them, decides whether you know, they can go on or better if they never existed in the first place. Um, I think there's a lot of character elements from uh, characters like The Crow, um, Ghost Rider, in that it judges only those who deserve to be judged, you know, the, the guilty, not the innocent. Um, however, there's a unique little facet to this character that I find you know, really fascinating. It's, it's the fact that it will give you a chance to redeem yourself if you are worthy of it. Um, it's just a cool thing to play around with, really. Hi, I'm Lloyd. I play a character called Jamal Rashoon, who serves as a narrator of the story. When he's first introduced, he just comes across as a crazy old man until he claims that, back in his youth, he was the lead of one of those infamous gangs of the eighties, a man nicknamed Padre Voodoo, which is a name that's instantly recognisable to anyone in the movie that knows their local history. The fact that he hasn't been seen or heard of in three decades makes the story sound a bit hard to swallow. But he seems to know things that nobody else could possibly do. This would leave people to wonder if he is who he says he is and what could possibly have happened that would make a man walk away from everything he knew and give up his whole way of life and disappear for more than 30 years. Regardless, if he was Padre Voodoo or just some crazy homeless guy, this is a man that makes people want to sit down and listen. He's seen or experienced something horrific. That much is clear. And he seems hell-bent on warning others of the danger of the demon he believes is out there in the shadows that they can't see. Hi, I'm Sam. I play the character of Jamie West. He's a kid caught up in the wrong place at the wrong time, finds himself cornered by a street gang, and saved by a mysterious old man who proceeds to tell the tale of the 365. Whether their meeting was a chance encounter was unclear, but given the story he tells Jamie, it could be said that the old man's time was running out and he had to pass the story on to the next generation. Maybe Jamie was predestined to be the one to keep the legend alive, to save others from suffering the wrath of the 365. Jamie's story with the old man essentially works as a framing device for the 80s flashbacks. I think filming the narrative scenes in high def and then dropping down to non-HD for the uh, 80s flashback really gives a great visual differential to the time period. I don't think that's ever been done in film before, so this is, in a way, kind of groundbreaking. We've got a full production staff ready, a cast of at least 40 actors on standby. All we need now is your help to raise some funds to hire the filming locations. To donate to this project, the link to the Kickstarter campaign is in the description below, along with links to our official Facebook and Twitter pages. So, for those who might not be able to help out financially, uh, raising social media support would also be a great help. If you like what you've seen, then give us a big thumbs up, share and subscribe. Thanks for listening.